Ed, I wasn't expecting you. I need to speak to you. Are you all right? Come in, come on, I insist. Sit down. Can I get you anything? Would you like some tea? No, thank you. Something stronger? Have some sherry? No. No, thank you. I don't want anything. Oh. Are you all right? You seem a little on edge. I am. Sorry. What can I do for you? There's something that I've been meaning to tell you about myself. Things that I think you should know. You don't have to tell me anything. I've been on a very long and painful journey to get where I am now. Well, I'd rather gather that. And I am trying to be a better man. I know. And I respect that. But I can't. Unless I atone. Atone? I've... I've caused pain to others and... Great pain to you. Do excuse me. I think that might be Frida. Oh, good. I was hoping it would be you. Sorry about that. We've been trying to catch each other for days. Even a quick phone call has to be transcribed with her being deaf, so it all takes time. Don't apologise. Please. I've imposed on you enough as it is. Oh, you're not imposing, Ed. You're always welcome here. You've become a friend. No, I'm not your friend. Oh, don't be silly, Ed. Of course you are. I'm not. I've done... I'm not what you think I am. Well, that's what being a Christian is all about. You've worked to change your life, to help others. We all make mistakes. We do. But there are mistakes and there are... You're a good woman. But you don't know me. Well, I'm trying to know you. No, it's the other way around. You're confusing me. We didn't meet by accident. What? I looked for you. I sought you out. Me? I found you, and like I said, I need to atone. I need to apologise. Because I can't live my life if I don't put these things behind me. But what can you... What did you do? I spent many years in prison. What did you do? I took part in a robbery. A robbery that went horribly wrong. Where? Here. In this street. At the factory. I had a gun. I, had, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it to, but it went off. I'm so sorry. I killed a man. You. Hurt at my earnest. Are you okay? So many years to work out how I was going to tell you, and now I seem to be getting it all. Not that there was any way of saying it and protecting you. Of course not. It was brutal. But that's why you had to get to know me first. So you could see who I am now. So you could see how God's love has changed me. So when I tell you how. How deeply and totally I repent. And how far away I am from that disconnected, unthinking young man. 
when I... When I took your husband's life, that you'd know how absolutely and how deeply I mean it when I say to you, Emily, that I am truly, truly sorry. What is it you want? I'm not naive. I don't expect your forgiveness. Only God can forgive. So why are you here? I walked out of prison a changed man. I looked at things differently. I could see the pain that people were in. People on the wrong path like I was. But I saw something that I'd never even noticed before. I saw hope. I had a chance to make a difference. But not until I'd found you and told you how I feel about what I'd done to your life. You have no idea what you've done to my life. No, I, I, it's not coming out right. I, I, I'm not saying it properly. I, I never expected my life to move on. So when last night I was... I was seeking happiness before putting to rest the whole reason why I'd putting come Putting it to rest? No, I mean starting to. I swear, I am not taking any of this lightly or easily. Don't you understand? Getting to know you means I can better understand the man I took from this world. Don't you touch that. Don't touch him. Look, I just want you to... I don't care what you want. Of course, I don't want it to you sound... You lied your way into my life, into my church, into my home. I had to let... Get out! Oh, God help me! I... Emily, I'll just... Get like... out! Could I just draw your attention to our hours of business? It, uh, although, uh, clearly you are busy with, with something of, um, of moment. I'm sorry. I'll just finish writing this. Sometimes written seems less... Seems more committed, more substantial, don't you think? Quite, quite, yes. Well, um, yeah, well, look, you carry on and, and well, I'll just, um... Uh, can I get you anything else? No, I, I'll, be, I'll be going. No, 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 you please, you, you, you continue. I, I can see you, you're upset. I've been tested again. And I've failed again. Shouldn't be so difficult to get it right, should it? No, 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 indeed, uh, not, no. Oh, oh, how stupid can he get? I, uh... Oh, I've knocked myself out, and I? I can see my handbag from here. I'm sorry, but... Oh, don't worry yourself. I'll go and sit in the pub till Jamie's home. You all right? Emily not in? You can come sit with me for a bit if you want. Still, you're at my door. This is yours. More of your words. Emily, please, just read it. I didn't explain myself very well before. I was clumsy. Clumsy? Wasn't clumsiness your defence? It didn't go... Quite as I meant it to. It was only a robbery, except I was clumsy. Yes. Yes. Now take your clumsy letter, your blood-stained letter. I don't want it or you on my doorstep. You have no right to come into my life. No right. Wasn't easy. Normal levels of stupidity wouldn't have managed it. You can come to mine if you like and keep my mind occupied till while I'm waiting for Ken. Uh, don't let her talk herself into doing something illegal. Illegal? Don't ask. Are you coming, Eileen? Uh, not just now. Thought you were running away from me. Ed?
yes, let's all burn in our beds, shall we? Oh, good heavens! <laughs> it was for Ernest. <laughs> I thought you were in bed. <laughs> oh, well, sh sh shall I relight it for you? When somebody's suffered, you can't let go of those moments they suffered. Why is that? Even though you know it's long over and you can't change anything, even if it was only seconds, a, a split second. And people say, well, at least he didn't suffer. But what must he have felt? With all his faith, that there must have been fear or regret, sadness at leaving me. Even in that split second, all that, don't you think? Emily, are you not well? You didn't trust Ed, did you? Ed? Oh, what's he done? Has he robbed you? Look, I'll, I'll ring the police Edward. if that... Of course. Ed, Jack's own Norris. Thomas Edward Jackson. Ed Jacks. But what's he taken, Emily? Ernest. He murdered my Ernest. Yes, yeah, see, this might help to calm you down a bit. Had imagined meeting them, the murderers. Yes, well, you should never have had to. In my mind, they were cold, indifferent, and I forgave them. Pitied the godless past they'd chosen. Hoped that my forgiveness was like lighting a small candle in their dark souls. Mm, well, if he sets foot in the street again, now I'm, I'm ringing the police. What would they do? He served his sentence. He's forgiven by society. He's forgiven by God. And now he's come looking for me. Oh, Norris. What am I going to do? Well, maybe Norris has got someone on his mind as well. Have you? What? He's dialed that number every five minutes since Paperboy's left. Who is it won't talk to you? Oh, it's... Oh, come on, Norris, tell her, otherwise she'll get the thumbscrews out. It... it it's certainly, but you, you, you'll know soon enough. Why, what's the matter? <sighs> well, you, you know Ed from the church? Well, of course I do. I like him a lot. Do you? Well, he's the man who killed Ernest. What? You're joking. Oh. He, he told her yesterday she's in a terrible state. What? He's the man who robbed the factory? He's the man who pulled the trigger. And you've left her in that house on her what? own? Deirdre, come on, you stay here. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Oh, that poor girl. I spent years getting used to the fact that Ernest will never walk through that door again. But last night, I lay awake, listening for him. Oh, Emily. It was though as though he'd been delayed somewhere, and I know that's stupid, because the day he died, he wasn't delayed. He wasn't late. I wasn't worried. Things are bound to come back to you. We wanted children. It was already too late, really. I was too old, but... You never quite give up hope. Why did he go into work that day? Why didn't he say, oh, never mind the factory, Emily, let's spend some time together? <sighs> Must help to remember him. Remember that he's not here. I don't want to remember him. I want to talk to him. 
I don't want to spot somebody in the street that reminds me of him or, or reminds me of what he looked like 28 years ago. What use is that? No use. Everyone loses someone they love and I loved Ernest. That's Norris. He doesn't want to order Easter eggs on his own. You'd better get over there. No, he can cope. It's your livelihood, Rita. Don't throw money away. Ah, there's more important things. What's the matter with the world, Emily? I mean, people tell lies, they steal. That Stacy, she could have been a real nice girl, but she'd rather cheat people out of their money than earn an honest living. I couldn't trust her. I trusted Ed. I did. Never doubted him. That'll be Norris. Rita, go and sort it out. I'm fine. I don't need anyone sitting with me. Honestly, I don't. Hello. All right. I'll come across. He's not himself. He's upset. I know. Oh, I'll be straight back. Five minutes. Easter eggs, Ernest. Easter eggs. I know you've always tried to forgive people, even the men who, who robbed the factory. Oh, I've never cared much about the factory. That bit was easy to forgive, but the rest... At the trial, they said they didn't mean to kill him. Then why did they bring a gun? That man, Ed, he stood here in Ernest's house and he wanted me to say, oh, it's all right, forget it, go home. He wants me to salve his conscience and I can't. It's something he has to live with. Oh, no, no, Deirdre, I live with it. I inhabit it. He's on the outside and I won't forgive him. I go to church. I'm supposed to turn the other cheek. With God's help, I'm meant to see the good in everyone. Thy kingdom come. I've said it often enough. Forgive us our trespasses. I let God forgive mine, but I can't forgive that man's. What he did was terrible. It happens every day. Talk to you. You can't hope to do my Christian duty. Well, what can I hope to do, then? What's my life been about? Oh, Emily. What's it been about? Oh, Eileen. Have I come at a bad time? No, no, no. Uh, come in. I've been half expecting you. Have you? You'll be wanting to talk about Ed. Um, yeah, he, um, did a disappearing act yesterday. Well... Not to put too fine a point on it, he practically ran off. We've been getting on so well, and then yes, all look, of us... There's probably a very good reason for that, but I'm not quite sure this is the uh, time or Eileen the place Eileen has to... to know. We can't keep her in ignorance. What do I have to know? Who the man calling himself Ed really is. He came yesterday and told me. She's been reeling from it ever since. Have you? Who is he? He's the man who murdered my husband. The man who shot him during a robbery at Baldwin's factory. Ed is? It's been a terrible shock for all of us. Ed's the murderer? I can't believe that. He confessed, if that's the word. He served his sentence. He's been free for years. And now he's come back to torment Emily. No. I misjudged him, Eileen. 
I misread his character. I would never have introduced him. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. And you, you're sure about this? He told me himself. Got it off his chest. I wish it were different. It's not your fault. I know you'd become fond of him. Very fond. It's no mistake, is there? No. Right. Thank you. I think I'll just go home. Bye, Norris. Goodbye. What's the matter? Eileen. Well, what's she doing? Oh, nothing. She, she was just going past, but, uh, I mean, what do I say to her? Oh, I think I've already said more than enough. Why do you have to say anything? Well, well do I offer my commiserations or just pretend nothing's happened? Oh, I'm sure Eileen has quite enough to think about as it is. She won't be too concerned what you say oh, to her. Won't she? she? She can get very aggressive if she thinks you're not on her side. Well, I hope you are on her side. I hope we're all on the same side. And anyway, she'll have gone now, so it'll be safe to go out. Um, oh, hi. Hello. I, I, uh, I wondered if I could come in. I think we need to have a talk. Yeah. Yeah, OK. I just feel I owe you an apology. What for, exactly? I think I did the wrong thing, telling you about Ed. What goes on between the two of you is no business of mine, and I should have left well alone. Only, of course, now that the cat is out of the bag, and I can't put it back in, can I? So all I can do is apologise. It's not your fault what happened, is it? The fact that you know about it is my fault. Does Ed know that you've told me? He certainly doesn't know from me. Yeah, and I haven't told him. I haven't had the chance. Maybe he was going to finish with me anyway, and it's just coincidence that it happened now. Possible. But not likely. I'm going to make some coffee. Do you like one? Have you spoke to this man, Betty? This Ed? No, oh, only if you count in ordering drinks. Well, I've seen quite a bit of him, mm. and I would have said that I knew him. Obviously, I would have been wrong. Mm. I'll tell you what, though, Betty. I think there's something terribly selfish about what he's done. Well, I suppose he'd say, as a Christian, well, it was something that he felt he had to do. Well, as a human being, I'd say that was the last thing on this earth he should have done. Mm. Right, he's sorry that he took somebody's life. So let him go and do something useful with his own life. Not come back here and upset him, poor Emily, all over again. Oh, it's a shame. I've thought about this in the past. What would I do if I ever met Ernest's killer? And I thought, well, it would depend on what he had to say. But I always believed that if he was genuinely sorry, then I would accept that and I would forgive him. But now what? You find you can't? I can't. No. Why not? I don't know. The man's sincere. I'm not doubting that. Neither do I. I'm sorry. I'm telling you about someone you know far better than I do. Yes, I do. And he's a sincere and a good man. So, go on, when you say that you can't forgive him, why not? Last night, I had a dream in which I was watching a public execution. 
They put the noose around the prisoner's neck. And then, for some reason, they took his hood off. And I realised that it was Ed. Hi. Oh. Oh, hello, Emily. Um, don't let me interrupt. I knew I was just sat in the pub and I thought, no, I don't want to be here anymore. Too many people, too much gossip. So I thought, just come home and have a nice glass of milk and read me magazine. Ignore me. We will. So, how did you feel when you saw it was Ed they were executing? Oh, pleased. Very pleased. So far from being forgiving, what you really want is revenge. Yes. Thanks for coming. I'm not sure I've made things any better, have I? Not really, no. Bye. Bye. Oh, Emily! Oh, you've beaten me to the punch. I've been meaning to pop across all day. Hey, you look very smart. You're going for a stroll? To church. Really? You sound surprised. Oh, I was concerned. That he might be there. Well, he might be anywhere, Norris. Should I live like a prisoner? No, no, no it, it wasn't that at all. No, no, no. I, I, I bought you these, you see, because I, I thought church, you know, and I, I wasn't sure you were going to go because uh, I, I, I was worried you were losing your voice. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I, I have been worried too. <sighs> Good evening, good evening, good evening. I come bearing gifts. Pear drops. Two days away from sell-by. There's got to be some perks to this job. So, how was church? Empty. Oh, I thought you said uh, three o'clock was popular. Oh, there were people there. Families, children. But my legs wouldn't carry me in. Oh, are you all right? Look, you, you should have rung me. Oh, there's nothing a doctor can cure. I'm afraid oh, and... that, that I've been living in a dream for nearly 30 years. <laughs> that this is God's most cruel joke. I thought that Ernest's death was the test. That surviving was enough. Shall I get you brandy? This is the test, Norris. Forgiveness. And I fail. Well, who wouldn't? If a killer repents, then he can enter the kingdom of God. But if I close my heart to the killer, if I can't, won't forgive him, then the doors of the kingdom will close on me. What kind of a law is that? The kind I've followed all my life. No, 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 I'm, I, I don't believe it. You're a good person. Your, your God won't desert you. But I've deserted him. I can't go to church. I can't pray alone. Well, I don't pray, pray with me. To what? To a God that you don't believe exists. I can't ask you to do that. Well, I'm offering. Come on. Um, I might be a bit rusty. Our, our Father, Father, which art, art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy. I can say it. As we forgive those who trespass against us. But I can't feel it. Emily. No, it's no good, Norris. I can't find it in my heart.
that's lovely. <laughs> I'd have been here a bit earlier, only uh, Shelley had toothache last night, you see. Mm. Well, I've had quite a few visitors. Never knew I was so popular. Yeah. I couldn't believe it when I heard. I really could. I mean, how he had the brass face to come here after all these years. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, they should have hanged him. I mean, this proves it, doesn't it? It's cruel, that's what it is, to get somebody and pretend they're the churchgoers, yeah. just to get close to them. There was no pretense. No matter what else he may be, he is a Christian. <laughs> an eye for an eye. <laughs> And don't you start on about forgiveness and about Jesus washing away all your sins. Have you spoken to the vicar or someone? I tried yesterday. Got as far as the church and then I realised I couldn't go in. Oh. I didn't want someone telling me that I had to ask God to help me forgive. I don't see why I should forgive him, ever. Well, you shouldn't. I mean, he doesn't deserve your forgiveness, love. But the worst thing and the thought that I can't shake from my head is what would Ernest have done if it was the other way round? Well, he'd think the same way as you, love. Would he? Yeah. I don't think so. He would find it in him to forgive. In fact, he would probably rejoice that Ed had found God. Rejoice? But I... I can't do that. And I can't face God while every time I think of that man, I hate him, Betty. I really hate him. I, I always thought that I was a strong Christian. Just shows you what a conceited woman I've been all these years. I, I don't know where she's gone. And, I mean, if she can't trust me to confide in, then, well, who, who can she trust? Oh, yes. Oh, there you are. I'm sorry it took so long, Norris. You go for your lunch now. Well, where have you been? The Sunnydale Retirement Community. Oh. Oh, I see. The Sunnydale Retirement Community. And I will tell you all about it after lunch. That's something for you to look forward right. to. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll be back in half an hour. Oh. You look tired. I'm not ready. Ready for what? Retirement. Was it not very nice? Oh, it was lovely. Very peaceful, very secure. It's the sort of place you could go and live for a long time, only you'd feel a lot longer. I didn't think you'd like it. It's a place to go to die. And I may be feeling a bit vulnerable here, but I'm not ready for that. Not yet. May I make a suggestion? Oh, gladly. Why don't you come and stay with me? With you, for a bit. You wouldn't have to stay here on your own, and I could do with the company. Well, you've got Norris. <laughs> Glad you came round. I've been thinking about you a lot recently. Yeah, me too. How are you? Oh, I'm coping. We soldier on, don't we? Yeah, It's been a shock. Turn my life upside down. Well, I'll tell you something. I've discovered two things that really help. Really? Talking about it and not talking about it. I had a good talk with Betty today and it was a bit upsetting. But afterwards I started thinking it's all too easy to let ourselves drown in our own troubles. So I... I started thinking about my friends and had an idea that might help one of them and suddenly I felt a whole lot better. Well, that's good. Oh, I think maybe it's best if we put things behind us and start thinking about the future. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear you say that. Relieved? Why, why relieved? Well, I could say I've been knocked for six. I couldn't make sense of it. Felt like I was drowning in it, like you were. Well, you really mustn't blame yourself. No, but we're we're victims, just like Ernest. It's not our fault. Maybe we're not the only victim. No, I I I don't mean that. 
what I mean is... Well, what I mean is... Maybe it's possible to do a terrible thing and yet not be a terrible person. Which is why I went to see Ed today, to talk to him about it, to, to try and understand. Look, Ed never came here intending to hurt anybody. He came here to admit his guilt, to, to atone for what he'd done. He, he never expected anything to happen between me and him. He told you this? Yes, he did, and I believe him. What exactly are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that I met a lovely man and then I found out he'd done the most horrible crime and I hated him for it. But I listened to what he had to say and I, I looked into his eyes and I realised that I still loved him. You loved the man who killed my husband? No, no, no. no. I, I loved the man that he'd become since. I'm not saying that I am the best judge of character in the world. I'm not. I know I'm not. But I believe that Ed has really accepted responsibility for his actions. He's been punished. He's punishing himself still and hoping. He's praying that he's allowed to have a future. And I think that we have a future together. Maybe I gave you an exaggerated sense of my emotional state. When I said that I was coping, it might be more accurate to say that I am hanging on to my sanity by the skin of my teeth. I've been faced by the killer of the man I loved, who deviously insinuated his way into my life, who lied to me to get my trust. You said you were looking towards the future. I have no choice. But I love him. I've always wondered what kind of women marry murderers on death row. And now I know. How could you come here? Did you seriously think that I would give my blessing to your repulsive affair? You are the stupidest woman I've ever met. Are you so desperate for male company that you'd welcome a convicted killer into your bed? I shouldn't have come. Norris lent me his keys. Emily. Oh, Emily. Oh, whatever's happened now? Oh. <laughs> Rita! Rita! Hiya. Hi. Do you want to come in? Yeah. You, 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 you've a nerve. Showing your face round here again after you tricked your way into Emily's life. Come on. I wasn't trying to trick anyone. I came because I wanted to put things right. Cos you wanted to feel better, you mean. And I'm surprised at you, Eileen. Is this the last? Yes. Oh, thank heavens for that. Well, I think we all need a nice cup of tea. Oh, 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 I say, you, you, you'll never guess who we saw this morning. Norris. What? Oh, oh, right, then. I, I think I can, though it perhaps happened a little sooner than I expected. I, I know, I mean, the nerve of the man. I mean, there he was, standing on the doorstep, bold as brass, and she was... Shouldn't the... you be getting back? Oh. You've all your own packing to do, and we can't close the shop all day. <sighs> no, 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 you're quite right. So, if you'd care to hand them over... Huh? Oh. You will take good care of it, won't you? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Well, I'd better get back to uh, Shay Norris. <laughs> See you later. Like you said, it is only temporary. Yeah. Oh, hello. It, it, it's, it's only me. I, I just wondered how you were getting on. We're fine. Oh, yes, yes, we, we have eaten. Um, 
chicken and potatoes and now we're having a cup of tea. Is, is that all right? Oh, well, that's, uh, that's very interesting. Yes. Uh, goodbye, Norris. He's considering a cup of coffee himself, honestly. Now, where were we? Trying to work out how long we'd known each other. Oh, yes. Mm. Longer than we thought we would, any road. Mm. Perhaps it's best to leave it at that. <laughs> and now, look at us. It's funny, you, you never believe you're going to get old. I still don't. <laughs> Do you know what I can't stand? The way young people talk to you. It's like we're a different species. They use a special voice, don't they? As if they're talking to a child. Exactly. I feel like slapping them sometimes. I feel like saying, I was a dancer, me. I sang in clubs. Men lusted after me. And I've had more of them than you've had hot dinners, so don't go patronising me like some nicely clothed lady. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, not at all. You see, I could put up with the way young people see me, so long as I didn't see myself like that. And I do now. I feel old and frail, scared. And I've never felt like that in my life. And I hate him for it. Yes. One person can do so much damage without even realising it. Hey, I'm supposed to be cheering you up. And me, you. <laughs> <laughs> and look at us now, sat here, moaning and griping like two, two little old ladies. <laughs> Norris, flaming egg, you nearly gave us heart attack. Oh, have you forgotten something? <laughs> Tea bags. <laughs> you see, I, uh, <coughs> I decided against coffee in the end. I'm sure there were some in the cupboard. No, no. Corner shop closed. Uh, they've run out of our brand. <laughs> I'll go and get you some. Oh, no, that's all right. I'll, I'll share yours, seeing as uh, you've got some made. I'll, I'll just get a cup. Hi, Deirdre. Deirdre, what's up? You know damn well. You don't know him like I do. It's not what you think. It's not about what people think, Eileen. It's about what he is and what he did. He murdered Emily's husband. What else do I need to know? He's not the same man. Oh, don't give me that. You didn't know Ernie Bishop. I did. He was a good man, a decent man. And your boyfriend killed him. And made Emily a widow and ruined her life. I know it was a long time ago, but what does that change? Nothing. Ed's trying to make amends for what he did. Oh, leave off, Eileen. How can he? What he did stays done. And don't think I'm going to side with him or you because we were friends. Something like this makes you choose who your friends are. Emily is. You're not. Emily, can I just no. say... No, I only want to no, tell no, you just, just you... no. Please. I'll tell you what's wrong with people nowadays. They haven't the grace to feel ashamed of themselves. And I'm not talking about my old granddaughter. Although I could. Right. A lot now, Blanche? Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, give us one of them half bottles of gin. No. Look at that man Eileen Grimshaw's took up with. Killed Emily Bishop's husband 28 years ago. And now, here he is, on this street, making Emily's life a misery all over again. Where do you keep your tonic? A stack of them over there. Oh, right. You'll know what I'm talking about. How would you feel if that woman who set fire to this place, with you and Sunita inside, came back living here bold as brass? I wouldn't like it one little bit. Oh, as if he hasn't done Emily enough harm already. 
Now he's putting her through it all over again. I'll, um, I'll just tot this lot up, Blanche. I've just been talking about you. And if you think I were talking behind your back, I'll say it to your face. What you did to Ernie Bishop all them years ago were bad enough, God knows. What you're doing to Emily now, well, it's wicked beyond belief. I'm here to make amends, to ask Emily's forgiveness. You miserable scum. You see, it's all about you, isn't it? You want to feel good about yourself. You want Emily to pat you on the head and say, no hard feelings. Well, I'm telling you now, what everybody thinks about you, even if they haven't got the guts to say it, Nobody who knew Ernie Bishop will ever forgive you if you live to be a hundred. Now, why don't you leave Emily in peace and crawl back under a stone a long way off? Um, there is a, a magnifying mirror in the bathroom. Uh, Norris uses it for shaving. Oh, I'm sorry, Emily. Uh, would you prefer if I did this in my room? Oh, no. No, not at all. Oh, it's no trouble. No. It's fine, really. You, uh, you carry on. So, uh, come on, big boy, what do you reckon? As long as I don't have to wear flares. It's a 70s disco. What else are you going to wear? I'm hoping you're going to wear a boot tube. Oh! Yeah. That's me. All she's guilty of is loving him. The ugly truth is that I'm hurt, and I want them to hurt too. I'm no expert, but isn't Christianity all about compassion? Ed, there's no point. If it had a modicum of decency, you'd leave her be. Jesus said, if there is repentance, then you must forgive. And I do repent. I do believe you. Thank you. Thank you. But it doesn't change anything. It will never change anything. You've got to stop this. You're scaring her. That's the last thing I want to do. You tried. You've done your best. There's nothing else you can do. I can't stop trying. I can't. My life won't be worth living. I thought you had me. I was keeping out of your way. I thought you might have gone by now. No. Are you going to a later service? I'm not going to church this week. Or next. Well, it won't hurt you to give it a miss for a bit. Two guesses. Norris. Sniffing round after Sunday lunch, no doubt. Uh, we could always pretend we weren't here. You know he'll only let himself in. True. Frida! Come in. I hope you don't mind surprises. Not at all. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased you're here. Couldn't have come at a better time. I don't understand how she was taken in by this Ed. Oh, we all were. It was charm itself on the surface. Has she talked much about it? Not really. She might open up more to you. Oh, Emily, if Frida's staying a couple of days, I should go back to the flat. About Norris. Oh, you're right. I think I'll stick with the girls. <laughs> Wise move. Can I ask you something? This man, Ed, is he still going to your church? I couldn't tell you. I can't hear you, Auntie. I don't know. Is that why you're staying away? Because you might see him again. I'm not sure. I can explain to you why I don't want to go. I 
I'd like to attend. Yes, of course. You must do whatever you want. And what about your friends, the ones I've met? What do I say to them when they ask where you are? Don't let this egg take away anything else that is important to you. All right. I'll go. All right. I'm not sure this was such a good idea after all. Well, we're here now. We may as well go in. This is your church. You should be here. Come on, Emily, love. Come on. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Stop! I did wrestle with coming here today. You poor tortured soul. Was it hell being you? The church is all I have. Then take it. It's yours. I don't need it anymore. No, this is your parish. I'll find another one. You think that if I don't see you, time might heal what you've done? I didn't see you until you decided I should, but I always knew that you existed. I was selfish and I will always regret that. But I was hoping to bring you some peace. Leave her alone! You've done enough! You! You have no right being in that church! No, Frida. I won't let him hurt you anymore! Emily, are you all right? Oh, if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses... Emily, don't! You've done nothing wrong. Haven't I? I know you'd probably wish I was dead. No. I'd rather you'd never been born. Frida, put kettle on, eh? You all right? I'm living and breathing. If that counts as all right, then I'm all right. Talk to me, Emily. You know me. I'm not going to be telling you how you should be feeling or how the church or God expects you to think. I meant what I said to him that I wished he'd never been born. Very understandable. Not in God's eyes. Ed's told me that he'd spent years trying to rehabilitate himself. Facing me was supposed to be the final step. Well, that's his problem. I don't know how he can expect you to forgive him. I'm a Christian. 
Well, if God can't let you off this one, then I think he needs another look at his rule book. If your faith's been shattered, it's hardly surprising. If only it was as easy as losing my faith in God. The venom and hatred that I've felt and expressed today. It's myself. I no longer have faith in Rita. I don't know who I am anymore. Where's all that photo had gone? Didn't like to ask. We won't have Ernest talked about at the moment. Well, not talking about Ed is one thing. I'm beginning to feel she'll be glad I'm going home tomorrow. Oh, nonsense. Well, I'm a reminder, aren't I? And the way I behaved at church. Hey, I wish I'd thrown some stones at him. The state he's left Emily in. Oh, uh, well, you've done the tea. Um, I was going to make some... Uh, you sit down. I I'm just nipping out to get some biscuits. I'll go. No, um, no, I, I fancy a bit of air. Uh, anyone need anything? No, no, we're fine, thank you. Forty-six, forty-eight, fifty. All I'm saying is Emily shouldn't be bottling it up. She has a right to handle this any way she wants. Oh, oh, like you with these magazines, eh? They oh, don't mind. Frida's right. If Emily doesn't want to talk about it, that's her choice. Look, forgive me, but I've lived with Emily a lot longer than either of you, and I know the subtleties of her behaviour. She, she's a deeply unhappy woman. No. Oh, he's good, isn't he? You should have been a psychologist. Oh, yes, yes, you, you can mock, but I, I, I've studied human behaviour, and I know a cry for help when I see one. Well, this is an overly difficult game. Oh, sorry, I was looking at my cards. Difficult. What's the sign for difficult? Difficult. Oh. Oh, it must be like wearing a gag. What is? Well, you holding cards when you need your hands to talk. It's like me wearing a gag. I feel free if you want to even things up. It's only saying. Don't you agree, Emily? Agree. That Norris should wear a gag. I've got a terrible hand. Oh, well, don't blame me. I wasn't allowed to shuffle. Dropping them everywhere isn't shuffling. Look, look, this is ridiculous. Emily, if you just admit there was something wrong, then we... Norris, I've said how I want to deal with this, and I've asked you to respect it. If you can't, I'm in the new and fortunate position of being able to turf you out. Yeah, but if you just admit it, see, we could no, talk... No, I mean it. Well, I did warn you. I'm up. Shall we play for money next? Don't you think Emily's suffering enough without taking a money offer as well? I'd like you to leave. I think it's best, Norris. Well, they may be able to ignore your suffering, but I'm afraid I can't. And if that means being thrown out, well, then so be it. I only want to put everything out of... There's nothing wrong with me. Promise? I promise. Go on, or you'll miss your train. Bye, Auntie. Bye. Bye. Railway station? Yeah, I will cabin first. Back cabin? Yes. So go on, as Auntie Emily will be suspicious while we're not moving. I can't stay with her because I've got to get back to work, but... She's in a terrible state, is Auntie Emily. And I know that you two are our best friends, so I just had to tell you before I left. Please, help her, won't you, please? Oh, yes, we will. Bye. Bye. Take Bye. care. Take care, Peter. Bye. Oh, no, no. We must leave her alone. Let her find her own way through it. Maybe she's worse than what I thought. Mm, as I think I tried to tell you. Yeah, well, maybe you were right. Mm, thank you. For once. Now then, Emily, 
Oh, you do look a lot better. Doesn't she, Rita, look a lot better? Well, no, not really. Which is why we thought, well, we're just going to have a bite to eat in the Rovers, and we thought, would you like to come with us? Well, of course she would. Well, let her answer. I wasn't aware I was stopping her. So, come on, get your coat on. Well, yes, I'll... I need to do a, a bit more than just get my coat on. Whatever. There's no hurry. Well, I'll, I'll just be a few minutes. So far, so good. Oh, yes. Two pale ales and she'll be dancing on the tables. Emily? Happened I should go up. <laughs> oh, here she is. I'm sorry, eh? I don't want to go out. Oh, of course you do. Norris, don't patronise me, please. I'm sorry, Rita. I do appreciate your attempt to cheer me up. We wanted your company. And I do find that very strange, because I certainly don't know... Uh, I'm going back to bed. Oh, Emily... Oh, come for a drink. No, I won't! Leave me alone! Oh, uh, Rita tells me you didn't sleep too well again last night. I don't see why she would think it was any of your business. We're your friends, Emily. You shouldn't be wasting your time on that man. And you certainly shouldn't be losing sleep over him. And, well, any religion that allows you to take a life and, and then get straight into heaven as long as you say, oops, sorry, I won't do it again, well, well that's just... Nonsense. Yeah, I don't think it's quite as simple as that. Now, will you give me my change? It isn't just a trespass against you. It's murder. You can't be expected to forgive that. Forget it. Keep the change. <sighs> give it here. Emily! Oh, subtle as a brick. But he does have a point. He has no idea what he's talking about. Oh, listen, Emily. Haven't you got a business to run? I've also got your change. Thank you. Listen, Emily... I'm fine. Really, I am. I'll be back to normal in a couple of days. Emily, I'm losing sleep because you're losing sleep. Morning. 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 Um, I, I just wanted to say about Ed. I really don't want to talk about it. Sorry, it's... Just so you know that his history, as far as I'm concerned, we're finished. Sorry it didn't work out for you. Yeah, well, he shouldn't have come here in the first place. See? He's not worth worrying about. I know you mean well, Rita, but please leave me alone. I don't understand. Am I glad to see you? I don't know why. Well, I uh, wouldn't mind a quick chat once you've finished having a word with the boss. I don't think the boss has anything to say to me anymore. Or if he has, I don't seem to be able to hear him. Hey, what did you expect? A burning bush? I don't think I expected anything. I do think his repentance is genuine. So do I. And I know what's supposed to happen next. Three words from me, and with one bound, he's free. With one bound, you're, you're both free. Well, it's too hard. I can't do it. I hate the idea of doing anything that makes earnest murderers feel better. He gets a clean slate. What do I get? Peace of mind, perhaps? I get nothing. And what kind of stupid religion is that? And if it is all stupid, I'll never see Ernest again, will I? I'm being selfish. Well, sometimes. Do what's best for yourself is the most important thing you can do. And sometimes, to forgive, to let go, can be a form of self-interest, a way of moving on for your own good. 
Do you have a computer? No. Access to the internet? No. Then come into my office. There's a website I'd like to show you. It's called The Forgiveness Project. That's what I am now, is it? A project. I just think you'd be interested in it. Now, on this site, there's dozens of stories of ordinary people, people like yourself who have suffered terrible things. There's murders, atrocities... I'm sorry. I, I need to go. I thought coming here today might help, but it hasn't. Will you be here on Sunday? I don't think so. Ed won't be back. Good. It's perfectly normal for you to hate him so much, but if you let it consume you, it could destroy you both. I've learned to live with it before. I'll live with it again. You might. Just wish I could say the same about him. What do you mean by that? Nothing. You think he's... Look, he's devastated. He's full of guilt, remorse, self-hatred, self-pity. Well, he can't live with himself. That's not my responsibility. But do you actually want him dead? What are you saying? Look, I must admit, the way he was talking, I am very worried. How dare you? How dare you lay that on me? I'm sorry. Look, he'll be fine. I'm sure he'll be fine. But take a look at that website if you get the chance. The Forgiveness Project. You can go online for free at the library. I have no interest in going online. And I wouldn't know how to, even if I had. Hello. Can I come in? Uh, yeah, yes, of course. Come in. I see your flat is up for rent. Yeah, I'll move out today. You're lucky to catch me. Am I? Am I really? Sorry, I didn't mean... I just meant... You'll be glad to see the back of me, won't you? Yes. So, why are you here? Where are you going? Uh, London. Whereabouts? Oh, I'm not sure. You don't know where you'll be sleeping tonight? No, I'll... Uh, I'll get a bed and breakfast. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Why not? It's only temporary. Don't you have to tell your probation officer where you are? Yes, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll ring him when I get sorted out. Are you going to kill yourself? <laughs> what makes you think that? It's what the Reverend Sedgley seems to think. I don't know why. Is it true? You did say that you wish I'd never been born. So you are going to kill yourself? Is that what you want? I want the truth. I would do anything to make it right between us, Emily. Well, tell me the truth. The truth is that I hate myself and I don't really think I can carry on. So you are going to end it? Yes, I've been thinking about it, yes. No husband, no children, no grandchildren. 28 years of lying in an empty bed. Do you think that gets any easier as time passes? No. Well, it does, or it did do, until you turned up again. I'm sorry. And now, on top of everything else, you want me to have your death on my conscience.
You don't think I'm anything to do with all this, do you? Why would I think that? I don't know. The way you were looking at my laptop. It reminded me of Richard. He used to work there all the time. Look, who knows this is the anniversary of his death? Anyone could find that out. If the signature's as close to the real thing as you say it is... You don't think it is the real thing, do you? This is not a message from the other side. It's a message from an attention-seeking teenager. Why would David want to drag up the past like that? Well, when he comes home, we can ask him. I was going to London and... I was going to slip away quietly. Tiny article in the local paper. Not even that. You'd never have known. Good Christians don't take their own lives. I never said I was a good Christian. I tried to be. But, well, you know. But why don't you just let me disappear out of your life? Don't give me another thought. Forget about me. I wouldn't have had the guts to go through with it anyway. If I forgave you, would everything be all right? No, of course not. But with my forgiveness, you could soldier on. Emily, I now realise I have no right to ask anything of you. You owe me nothing. If you really are sorry for what you've done to me... I am. And you really do want to make it up to me. I do. I'd do anything. Anything? Yes, name it. I forbid you to kill yourself. Just let me disappear. No! No easy way out. Please, there's no reason for you to care for me. I don't. But I will not be blackmailed. Do you hear me? Promise me that you will never take the easy way out. OK. Promise me. I promise you I will never take the easy way out. Whatever happens... Whatever happens. And I forgive you. Why? I don't want to be eaten up with hatred anymore. I forgive you. I don't deserve it. You're a saint. No, no, I'm not. This is not an act of mercy. I'm doing this for me. I need you to go away. Like you were planning, I don't know where, just, just go far away. I, I never want to see you again. All I ask is that you send me a Christmas card every year with a photograph in it so that I know that you've not done anything stupid. Yes, OK. You probably don't know this, but... Ernest was a professional photographer. And uh, this was his favourite camera. Take it. Use it. Do something good with the rest of your life. I will. I promise. Bye, Emily. Thank you. Oh. Emily, where have you been all day? Damascus. But that, that Greek place in, in, in the precinct, Dionysus. I know where I've been, Norris. If you're always angry and full of hate, you're always the victim. I realise that... I'd be chained to it forever unless I made the decision to let go and set us both free. So that's what I did. And suddenly I feel 28 years younger. Because you told him you forgive him? Because I have forgiven him. <laughs>